Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Mandolin Chronicles. My name is Jonathan McClanahan. Make sure and click and subscribe on my channel if you like uh, seeing videos like this of luthery, woodworking, and uh, instrument making. Um, make sure and uh, also click the uh, little bell as well if you want to be alerted of any uh, videos in the future that I upload. Um, a lot of people ask me um, how I do my labels. Uh, I have posted it before on Facebook that I um, hand stain my labels. And so I thought it would be a, a good video to show everyone how I do that process. So, all right, here we go. This is uh, for Mark McGlashan's mandolin that you just seen me um, glue the top on with hide glue. And uh, now I've got his back graduated out. I've got it all done signed. I got the um, serial number underneath where the uh, label's going to go. And uh, quarter sawn, perfectly quarter sawn piece of uh, curly maple. And so the label's going to go right there. All right, so what I do first is put, I sign it. Trinity model, number 750. All right. All right, there it is. All right, so after this, what I do is that uh, ink is um, still wet. So I press it. There's never much that comes up, but it's enough that if I went ahead and uh, stained it, it would smear. So I go ahead and press it and get all that up. So I can begin to work it. As you see there, it's very faint. Like I say, it's enough to, uh, it's enough to um, make it smear. All right, I start out with a um, start out with a little bit of uh, an amber color, and it just takes a little bit. And what I do is, I uh, you don't have to go over here, hun. Just no, 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 you don't have to. I tap it a little bit, kind of get the res the the excess off. I come over here and I start tapping. And then what I do is I start going around the label. And I move in as I go. And as I move in, it loses some of its color, but that's okay. I want it to do that because I want it to be lighter, slightly lighter on the inside than it is on the perimeters. Many people call this uh, technique faux. All right, from there, I go to slightly darker. And then what I do is I use this existing, the existing piece, and I mix the two colors together. I tap, you see there? And then I start on the perimeter and I just slowly tap and I don't hardly apply any pressure at all and the closer I get to the center the less I pressure I apply all right, there you go. That's that's that level. Let me hold it up straight. All right, and then from there, I go to slightly darker. And there again, I add the stain, the darker stain to the existing 
other two, two other colors. Actually, I can do some of the tapping over here. Tap here. See how that's just a, a slight darker variance from what I've already done. Now, at this point, because my lettering is black, I want to make sure and not get too dark. So I want to tap a little bit extra to make sure that any of that um, liquefied residue of the stain is gone. It's almost like a dry application. See how I'm going just... And see, I don't want to go too dark over my lettering. But you can still see the lettering. There it is. Now, another thing I also do sometimes is once I get to this stage, I'll blow it. All right. And then I'll come in and I'll just slowly let it dry a little bit and then I'll slowly begin to blend blend it all together. Now what this does is you get the benefit of the color of all of the colors and the the blending of the colors but yet you get a smoothing effect as well. And if I have to touch it up some just come in and touch it up. And then if I want to lighten it up a little bit, I add a little bit of pressure. And there it is. That's how I get my labels to look vintage. All right. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, uh, please click and subscribe to my channel. If you like videos like this, and uh, there'll be a lot more coming. So thank you for tuning in to Mandolin Chronicles. See you later.